We are in position. Exterior temperature slightly elevated. No obstructions detected. Second team, are you in position? In position. Meet you on the other side of those doors. The ventilation shaft. That valve should open the gate.
Come in. Look out! Seek his bone! We're in position. We need this door open now. Go! We'll cover you. The door has malfunctioned. Pass one. Here they come! Fall back! Suppressing fire! Hold the door! Nice work, Legion. I knew I could count on you. Shepard, you need to see this. Looks like one of the missing colonists. There's more. Over here. God. She's still alive. Dr. Chakwas, are you okay? Shepard, you... you came for us. No one gets left behind. Thank God you got here in time. A few more seconds and... I don't even want to think about it. The colonists were... processed. Those swarms of little robots, they... melted their bodies into grey liquid and pumped it through these tubes. Why are they doing this? What are they doing with our genetic material? I don't know. I'm just glad you got here before it happened to us. So are we. But we still have a job to do. We've done well so far. Let's hope we can finish the job. Joker, can you get a fix on our position? Roger that, Commander. All those tubes lead into the main control room right above you. The route is blocked by a security door, but there's another chamber that runs parallel to the one you're in. I cannot recommend that. Thermal emissions suggest the chamber is overrun with seeker swarms. Morton's countermeasure cannot protect you against so many at once. What about biotics? Could we create a biotic field to keep them from getting near us? Yes, I think it may be possible. I wouldn't be able to protect everyone, but we might be able to get a small team through if they stayed close. I could do it too. In theory, any biotic could handle it. Shepard, who do you want to maintain the field? Samara and I will take a small team through the Seeker Swarms. The rest of you provide a diversion by going through the main passage. We'll open the security doors from the other side and meet you there. Who should lead the diversion team? I'll keep the defenders busy while you slip in the back. What about me and the rest of the crew, Shepard? We're in no shape to fight. Commander, we have enough systems back online to do a pickup, but we need to land back from your position. We can't afford to go back, Shepard. Not now. You'll never make it without help. I'll send someone with you. Joker, send me the location of the landing zone. We'll meet there. We've all got our assignments. Let's move out.
Moving out. Try to stay close, Commander. Swarms are interfering with radio contact. You ready for this? Let's go, Commander. Incoming. We've been fun. Ready to move up, Commander. Ready to move, Commander. Let me know when you're ready to move. Face your annihilation. My attacks will tear you apart. I will direct Going this dark. personally. Ready to move up, Commander. Let's go. a real firefight. I'll hold this position until you're ready to move out.
Let me know when you're ready to move up. Moving up, Commander. They come. What's your position? We're at the door. They've got us pinned down. We're coming. Just hold on. Get this door open. Come on! Seal the door! I'm ready for action, Commander. Joker, are you at the rendezvous point? I'm here, Commander. Chakwas and the rest of the crew just showed up. Jack's group just arrived, Shepard. No casualties. Excellent. Now let's make it count. Edie, what's our next step? There should be some nearby platforms that will take you to the main control console. From there, you can overload the system and destroy the base. Commander, you got a problem. Hostiles massing just outside the door. Won't be long till I bust through. We need to finish this before they get through. Pick a team to go with you and leave the others here to defend this position. That should buy you some time. I'm ready, Commander. So am I. Anything to say before we do this? The Collectors, the Reapers, they aren't a threat to us. They're a threat to everything, everyone. Those are the lives we're fighting for. That's the scale. It's been a long journey, and no one's coming out without scars. But it all comes down to this moment. We win or lose it all in the next few minutes. Make me proud. Make yourselves proud. Well said. Let's go finish this.
enemies incoming! Tubes lead to this spot. Edie, what can you tell us? What are they doing? The tubes are feeding into some kind of superstructure. It is emitting both organic and non organic energy signatures. Given these readings, it must be massive. Shepard, if my calculations are correct, the superstructure is a Reaper. Not just any Reaper. Human Reaper. Precisely. It appears the collectors have processed tens of thousands of humans. Significantly more will be required to complete the Reaper. What did the collectors gain by turning humans into this Reaper shell? They may be facilitating the Reaper equivalent of reproduction. Or it may serve another purpose. I do not have the data to speculate further. However, it is clear that the Collectors are merely pawns. The technology and ability needed to create this Reaper is not their own. It is likely that different species construct each Reaper. In this case, the Collectors provide the labor. The Collectors are just Protheans. Why would they help the Reapers? The Reapers subdued the Protheans long ago. Probabilities suggest they attempted to create a Prothean Reaper, and failed. Over time, they adapted the Protheans to suit their needs, changed them, turned them into workers. Tools for the Reapers. They're building it to look like a human. Why? It appears that a Reaper's shape is based upon the species used to create it. Reapers are machines. Why do they need humans at all? Incorrect. Reapers are sapient constructs a hybrid of organic and inorganic material. The exact construction methods are unclear, but it seems probable that the Reapers absorb the essence of a species, utilizing it in their reproduction process. How many more humans do you think they try to take? Millions. Perhaps more. Impossible to know for certain. This Reaper appears to be in a very early stage of development. An embryo in human terms. So it's not alive yet? We can still stop it from being created? The process can be stopped, but it is unclear exactly how much it has developed. I cannot, for example, tell you if it has awareness. This thing is an abomination. Edie, how do we destroy it? The large tubes injecting the fluid are a weak structural link. Destroying them should cause the supports to collapse and the Reaper to fall. Give us a minute, Edie. We've got to take care of some old friends first. Enemies incoming! Heavy weapons. We are the harbinger of your destiny. Your force. 
tubes. tubes. Ground team, status report. It's safe. We are holding, but they keep coming. A quick exit is preferable. Head to the Normandy. Joker, prep the engines. I'm about to overload this place and blow it sky high. Roger that, Commander. Uh, Commander, I've got an incoming signal from the Elusive Man. He's patching it through. Shepard. You've done the impossible. I was part of a team. Some of them gave their lives for this mission. I know. Their sacrifice will not be forgotten. You did what you had to do, and you acquired the collector base. I'm looking at the schematics Edie uploaded. A timed radiation pulse would kill the remaining collectors, but leave the machinery and technology intact. This is our chance, Shepard. They were building a Reaper. That knowledge, that framework could save us. They liquefied people, turned them into something horrible. We have to destroy the base. Don't be short-sighted. Our best chance against the Reapers is to turn their own resources against them. I'm not so sure. Seeing it firsthand, using anything from this base seems like a betrayal. If we ignore this opportunity, that would be a betrayal. They were working directly with the Collectors. Who knows what information is buried there? This base is a gift. We can't just destroy it. You're completely ruthless. The next thing I know, you'll be wanting to grow your own Reaper. My goal is to save humanity from the Reapers, at any cost. I've never hidden that from you. Imagine how many lives could be saved if we keep this base intact and use its knowledge to thwart the Reapers. Imagine the lives that will be lost if we don't. No matter what kind of technology we might find, it's not worth it. Shepard, you died fighting for what you believed. 
I brought you back so you could keep fighting. Some would say what we did to you was going too far, but look what you've accomplished. I didn't discard you because I knew your value. Don't be so quick to discard this facility. Think of the potential. We'll fight and win without it. I won't let fear compromise who I am. Miranda, do not let Shepard destroy the base. Or what? You'll replace me next? I gave you an order, Miranda. I noticed. Consider this my resignation. Shepard, think about what's at stake, about everything Cerberus has done for you. You... Let's move. We've got ten minutes before the reactor overloads and blows this whole station apart.
I'm here, Joker. Did the ground team make it? All survivors on board were just waiting for you. Human, you've changed nothing. Your species has the attention of those infinitely or greater. That which you know as Reapers are your salvation to destruction. Shepard, you're making a habit of costing me more than time and money. Too many lives were lost at that base. I'm not sorry it's gone. The first of many lives. The technology from that base could have secured human dominance in the galaxy, against the Reapers and beyond. Human dominance? Or just Cerberus? Strength for Cerberus is strength for every human. Cerberus is humanity. I should have known you'd choke on the hard decisions. Too idealistic from the start. I'm not looking for your approval. Harbinger is coming, and he won't be alone. Humanity needs a leader who's looking out for them. From now on, I'm doing things my way, whether you agree or not. Don't turn your back on me, Shepard. I made you. I brought you back from the dead. And I'm going to do exactly what you brought me back to do. I'm going to win this war, and I'll do it without sacrificing the soul of our species. 